द माउंट ऑफ जुपिटर एंड इट्स मीनिंग द माउंट ऑफ जुपिटर इज फाउंड एट द बेस ऑफ द फर्स्ट फिंगर वेन लार्ज इट शोज डिजायर टू डोमिनेट टू रूल एंड कमांड अदर्स टू लीड एंड ऑर्गेनाइज एंड टू कैरी आउट सम डिस्टिंग ऑब्जेक्ट बट दिस गुड क्वालिटीज विल ओनली बी एम्प्लॉयड इफ द लाइन ऑफ हैड इज क्लियर एंड लॉन्ग वेन दिस लाइन इज पुअर एंड बेडली फॉर्म then a large amount of jupiter gives pride excess of vanity a self confident and a self opinionated person but on what is known as a good well marked hand there is no mount more excellent and no sure indication of success than sheer strength of the character and purpose this mount may be considered positive when a person is found born between november 21st and december 20th and in a minor way until 20th 28th the these persons are naturally ambitious fearless determined in all they undertake but in acting on their impulses they generally hit too straight from the shoulder or show their ambition too plainly and so arouse antagonism opposition and enmity they concentrate all their attention on whatever they may be doing at the moment and see no way but their own especially if they feel the least opposition to their plans they are however honorable and high principled in almost all they undertake and respond to any trust or confidence placed in them they are usually extremely tr- truthful and bitterly resent any attempt at deception and do not hesitate to unmask any effort to deceive others even when such an action on their part may ruin their own plans they have great enterprise in business and all matters requiring organization and easily become the heads of the businesses or hold responsible positions in government offices or under the government they rarely become politicians for the simple reason that they cannot be here to bend to any party plans or schemes they are perhaps the most independent of all types in choosing their own career because their father may have happened to be a clergyman will be no reason for them to follow the example or even hold the same views on religion it is for this reason that in early, early life such subjects are a cause of worry and anxiety to their parents but they should always be allowed to choose their own career and even change it dozen times if they wish until at last they find their true vocation the great fault of this class is they incline to go to extremes in all things and in doing so exhaust their efforts and they can change and fly off in another direction but in all cases where the line of head is well marked especially when lying straight across the palm there is no height in position or responsibility that they may not reach these subjects are more inclined to suffer with rheumatism and acid complaints than from any other form of disease also inflammation of the tongue and throat boils eczema and all skin troubles